In Hawaii, a ship weighs anchor. Scientists from Germany's Geozentrum Hannover initiative have rented the vessel. They're on an expedition to find future sources of raw material at the bottom of the ocean. The geologists have brought along heavy equipment. They need machines that can gather samples from the ocean floor. Preparations were extensive. The expedition is slated to last for seven weeks. If things go well, the scientists will recover substances from depths of up to 5,000 meters. Some minerals are becoming scarce and expensive. Exploiting resources found on the seabed could become a lucrative field. The researchers want to find out how they can most quickly access valuable metals while keeping environmental impact to a minimum. The metals they're most interested in can be found in manganese nodules that are scattered on the seabed like potatoes in a field. You just have to harvest them, but that's tougher than it sounds. A chain bag is used to bring some up on deck. The method is effective, but it's only one of several possibilities. The researchers have brought up a large number of manganese nodules in this way. The rocks are valuable and ancient. It takes millions of years for a nodule to reach the size of a potato. The geologists take a closer look at their prized harvest. The nodules are washed, measured and then sliced into sections. The team wants to find out which metals are present in which nodules and in what concentration. Cobalt, copper and nickel are of special interest to industry. Precise analysis shows that the manganese nodules also contain small amounts of rare metals such as molybdenum, selenium and tellurium. These are in high demand among producers of electronic components. This device is known as a standard box corer. It works like an excavator. The scientists are using it to bring manganese nodules to the surface along with about half a cubic meter of seabed. They take samples that will later be analyzed in the lab in Hanover. The researchers want to find out if there's a link between the number and size of the nodules and the quality of the subsurface. Another aim of this and further expeditions is to develop a model of the underwater terrain and to find out how the nodules are distributed on the ocean floor. One major challenge is bringing up the nodules with as little impact on the ocean as possible. The team wants to mine the precious resources in an environmentally friendly way. One possibility could be sending down a robot sub to collect the manganese from the ocean floor. Water pressure would be used to push the nodules up an extraction pipe to the surface. The minerals could then be processed on a mining platform. But the geologists are only just beginning their research. The results from this trip were promising and more expeditions are scheduled to follow.